So you're creating a new task in Klein and you have a decent idea of where you want to go, but not exactly how to get there. With enough course corrections made along the way, Klein will help you navigate toward the final destination. But here's a problem. Every course correction you make costs you tokens and also a lot of time. And frankly, you want to spend as little time and money as possible. So how do we make this happen where Klein gets the job done without requiring me a lot of course corrections? Plan and act mode is a great way to smooth out this process. When you're in plan mode, you're essentially talking with Klein to gather relevant details up front before implementation. Think of it like this. When you start a new task, Klein is placed in the middle of a maze without a map. Thankfully, Klein comes equipped with special abilities like search file and also the ability to read files. It uses these abilities to map out your whole repository and your primary objective here is to answer questions and provide further details as needed. It is common to use state-of-the-art models like the O1 and DeepSeq R1 model. These models are well suited for reasoning and breaking down complex tasks that's required when mapping out the architecture. The cost is minimal when you're in plan mode since you are trying to strategize the best plan up front. Once you feel confident that client fully understands your requirements, you can toggle to act mode. So all the strategies that you made and the context you provided during plan mode, it gets ratified the moment you toggle to act mode. It is common to switch to a different model that excels in coding when you're in act mode so that you get the best benefit of using a reasoning model for strategizing and a coding model for code generation. One caution to keep in mind is that changing models between modes can lead to a context truncation, especially if the model used in plan mode has a larger context window than the one used in act mode. Klein will trim the context as needed to ensure it adheres to each model's capacity. And also, we've all been there where we tried with Klein over and over again, and it just doesn't get the right result that we're looking for. So we end up in this rut for minutes and hours circling around the finished product. Plan and act mode is there to solve exactly that issue. Using the plan and act mode can help you reduce wasted tokens, save time, and also improve output quality.